Many of you contacted me asking me how you can book a reading with me. Navigate to my channel page and find my name. Click on the more button. And there it will open up the about box section. There I have listed the number of questions, I mean the number of minutes, the number of questions, and the price, along with the delivery method. So say for instance, you contact me, you say, Tara, I would like to have a 45 minute reading, my most popular package by the way, and you can see that it's three of the four questions, the price, and the delivery method. Here you can find my email address and so that's all you have to do. Let me show you again. Come to find my name, click on the more button and there you have all the instructions on how to book. So let's get to the reading right now. Hi Pisces. This is going to be your Sun, Moon, and Rising video for October 2024. If you view this and the message does not resonate, check back your Moon and Rising sign, okay? I, I'm i not going to spend a lot of time telling you about what's going on with me. I'm going to get straight to the reading. We have the Radiant White deck. We have... This damn camera. We have a Veda Sibila for clarification. Should we need? I gotta move slow. <laughs> and we have the Psychic Oracle Tarot to wrap the reading up. I ordered myself a new DSLR DSLR camera, so and hopefully it will be coming in the mail real soon because I can't keep doing this. You know, so let, I've already done some meditation and shuffling on your sign and glyph, Pisces. I just hope the camera can last without giving me any trouble. And we will put another rifle on the deck. This will be nine cards down. Let's cut the deck. The Ace of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. I gotta be careful how I'm putting them down here. Because the camera will be out of focus. The Page of Cups. It's something even more exciting on the other side of the six right there. The Eight of Wands. That's always good. The Nine of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands, and you can be a Queen of Wands and be a Pisces. I'll explain in a minute. The Death card, and don't think that's bad. The Four of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles. So, this is on a mundane level, and you only have one major arcana by which you will learn a spiritual lesson. Two, three core cards all in a row. Mm.
three pinnacles. I'm sorry, four pinnacles, three wands, a cup, and there are three horses here. What is the energy of the whole reading? Three of pinnacles. That's a fifth pinnacle? Yes. So let's start off. First, let me explain about being a Pisces and being a fire queen. You can all, we all can, no matter what our sun signs are, we can all take on the qualities of different suits. So maybe you own your own business. Maybe you work for yourself. Maybe you are an entrepreneur. That's what she stands for. So that's how you can be a queen of uh, Pisces and be a queen of wands at the same time. So maybe you ha have to take on the qualities of the queen of wands. But in the spread itself, I see all these messages. One, two, three. Because that's all pages are to me are low level messages. Knights are always a higher level message, but they serve a purpose by when they show up in a spread, they come to move a situation along. Always an event. And The cards are read past, present, future. Past, present, future interplay of the cards. And beginning with the nine, nines are a moment of composing yourself before moving on. Taking stock of where you are. And this nine of wands, I mean nine of coins, shows me that you have been working very hard, keeping the nose to the grindstone, ignoring other things, and focusing directly on your work. It also represents someone who's by themselves but does better for it, someone who's extremely creative and productive. And she has this little snail at her feet, which always signifies to me a possible house move, or at least movement of some kind. I have three horses. Everything else is going on around the Nine of Pentacles. So starting with Ace of Pentacles, Energies of the Ace are becoming available to you. So you're starting out with this perhaps gift or offer. What you're going to do. It may be financial. The coins represent simply either finances or the doing of something. Third dimension. Wands represent uh, the um, your focus, determination, and passion. And cups represent only how you feel about something. And indeed, I see that you have recently either got a promotion, a raise, a bonus, your name in the paper. You may have graduated, receiving some kind of accolades. Recognition, do you? So I think this is perhaps a, a bonus. Or promotion but there's something else coming up after that you see the uh, page of cups here he has an offer too so maybe but it comes as a surprise so maybe like the cards say you are you got the raise the promotion the bonus 
the advancement. And when you get there, they say, we want you to take a trip. This is trip usually by air. This is also called the arrows of love. But the thing is, we don't know exactly where the wands are coming from or where they're going to land. So usually we say this card uh, comes in a connection with business or work travel, usually by air. It's Mercury and Sagittarius. So what it means is this event will happen pretty fast. At least in eight days. That's what the wands stand for. Swords are weeks. Cups are months. Pinnacles are years. So maybe by in eight days, you're going to get an opportunity to travel for a business. Okay? You might even have an offer. To, they say we want you to go overseas and do something maybe move and here you are the queen of wands doing your thing but this is not the end what it is is a transmutation of the situation everything that you knew before falls away and you got to make room for the new you can't do anything you can't grab a hold of new opportunities when you're holding old opportunities in your hand you have to open your hand it has to be open to get something new i don't feel that uh you have always you have been in a, in a position where you felt that though you didn't receive your due but maybe you have and the situation says that it's over with now but you have to slow down on something because here you may lose uh something i don't know what it is it maybe uh, something that you do once you go on a trip they may you may be disappointed and they may not give you what you think you should be working on like you expect to be the big boss and when you get there, they tell you, sit over here and take notes. Something like that. Because I see you lose five pinnacles from the nine to the four. And the four pinnacles is about uh, prudence. It's about having a good uh, head for money and business. Um, <clears throat> it says, <clears throat> conserve your energy, your body. Uh, your money, your time, your effort, all the things you can bring to bear that represent your resources. Resources are not just about finances, you know. And this is definitely going to slow you down. But be prudent. Hold on to what you have because coming up, Is a knight of coins. Now this is a more fully fledged message. It's going to take a while to get there. Because it's big slow lumbering horse. Who's sending stock chill. And the, the story goes. When the knight of pentacles shows up. In a spread. You should welcome him. Give him a cold glass of water. He traveled long, far, and hard, and slowly, but he always presages good news and good events, lucrative events, because the five sword, five coins that you lost here, or you pick up here, and I also think you're going to have a choice to make about this new thing that's going to up, be upcoming. And I see here that you probably will 
be in a group of people, at least three. Maybe you are the person on a bench and you have the people coming to you asking you, can we do this thing? Can we build the, whatever this is? It's a, a cornerstone foundation. And they want to know, can they do it? Can they afford to do it? Is it going to cost them more? Is it going to cost them less? Look over the plans. See the person right here is a craftsman. And he's on a bench because he's obviously got a little more knowledge and skill than they do. So this can uh, represent contracts, business partners, business, business ventures. But it says that, what am I trying to say? It says that there will be at least three people involved. So there may be delays and postponements. Don't be worried about that. Because future successes will be realized. I don't see anything in spread that you should be worried about. Let me read to you the death card. There's not anything to be afraid, afraid of, okay? It's one of the most feared cards in the deck. And if it was bad news, I would tell you that because I think other cards will come out to say that. But I read it to you anyway. Number 13. Indicates that a major change is about to occur in your life, which may require any outmoded concepts to be discarded for a newer and better life and lifestyle. Death asks you to step out of the past into today. If you live in the past, you will miss out on the opportunities presented for you today. It indicates that a st one stage of life is coming to an end, but that from this ending, new experiences will evolve. Death tells you to take new opportunities and ask that you do not resist the changes that are coming towards you. It is necessary to look at your life and to question the amount of energy that you are putting into a relationship and the need to decide whether it's necessary to let go in order to save energy. That's why I think the Four of Pentacles has come out. It's telling me just don't exert, exert yourself too hard and don't worry because you are. It's a four and four speak to stable foundations. You may feel as if you lost some clout. Or maybe you don't even get paid like you want to for the job. But something else is going to come out of it. This does not require me to pull any um, Sibila cards. So I'm going to go directly to. And look, there are three people here. And three people in this card. And to me, it kind of speaks to a disappointment. You going and going, everything is great, and then you hit like a wall. And you feel depleted. Or like you lost some value. But don't think that. Hold on to what you have. Because something else is coming. It may take a while. But you just be patient. Okay?
Look, you, you, it's 10 coins here. Like you, the, what your promotion of something gives you all this, I, I don't want to say clout, but I want to say gravitas. That's a word. But here you lose five of the pinnacles, but you gain the five back. And that begins the cycle of 10 pinnacles all over again. Now this says heartache and loss. But these are only thoughts. It's a three of swords. And maybe you ha are feeling sad because your old life is ending when you're beginning a new one. But I don't think you're going to be sorry for one second when you get to the end of the journey. Because I have these horses here. You're obviously moving and they're all faced in the same direction. There are no horses faced the opposite direction so I don't see you having to back up I just may see a pause at some point and you will maybe you feel like you have lost everything I don't know but hang on because something else is coming I will read this card to you I don't know what it means the meaning of this card exactly revolves around disappointment. I think that's what's going to happen. Sorrow and separation, which can cause upheaval and distress. It takes all the strength you have at this moment in order to move past the pain and heal your heart. The love that has been given to another should not be focused on you. I don't think this is a, a romantic relationship. Although you might look at this card as being negative, negative, it can act as a tremendous catalyst, encouraging you to move on. The painful experiences of life are just as valuable as the joyous ones. You may not appreciate that sentiment at this challenging time, but life does have a way of pushing you forward, even though you may not always know the final destination. As you endure this period, learn not to dwell on the past, but use your strong emotional control to deal with your emotions. Have faith in knowing that you will get through this. I don't know why it's telling me. Because I don't see this as a relationship issue. It doesn't mean you're not in a relationship. I just don't see the other person in the spread. So you may be sad about that if you have to leave the the person that you're with. I don't feel you're married because the Nine of Pentacles tells me that you are alone and says that you may do well for it. So there you have it. That's for you, Pisces. October 2024. Is it going to clear up? It doesn't look like it. And good luck.